Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, and we're back with another 2K21 video, my boy. Now this actually does have to do with 2K21, man. A poll was taken, you know? The dev that covers the badges and how effective they are and how effective they are in my career, the progression to them, created a poll for defensive and rebounding, man. And it wasn't for this year, cause you know they don't touch this year. For, for some odd reason, man. But um, he definitely asked his poll for 2K21. So we go. Don't get into it, my boy. And y'all let me know how y'all feel about the defense that needs to be in NBA 2K21. But before we get into that, make sure y'all subscribe if you know. 300k on the way let's try and get a thousand likes on this video make sure you like up the vid if you think defense is too op <laughs> make sure you like up the vid if you think defense isn't good enough both of those statements are true man it's kind of crazy right so zach timmerman tweeted out defensive and rebounding badges as a whole thoughts i already know how y'all offensive players are gonna vote now see look you see that look he writing down he writing down notes he listening he listening we gonna get into these comments now, 2 OP tone them down. Just right, not effective enough. Now, all three of these statements are right in its own sense, right? So, for instance, good people can make every contested shot in the paint. But what it seems like is the normal people, they can't make shots and stuff in the paint. Like, I, I swear, to, like, when it comes to this year, besides like randomly when there's a pure lock or something like that in the paint you might miss a layup or a dunk or something like that but that's rare but for some reason it happens like a lot to the the people that aren't too good at the game or you know just normal people that aren't aren't sweats and i'm sure that's a lot of y'all man but like for instance for me on a on a three-point playmaker I make almost everything besides when there's a pure lock on me in the right position. And then I see BPs and two-way slashing playmakers, they make everything. Paint defense is broken. When it's like two sweats versus each other, they make everything over them, right? Like everything, so it's broken. But then you gotta say Intimidator is broken and it's overpowered and you miss because of it but then when the best people play they make everything over over 30 40 badge players you know like so it's like it's like pickpocket works and then it doesn't work like for instance the whole reaching stuff bro stamina has to be drained when someone reaches and also someone should go cold when they take bad reaches and they foul and stuff their whole player should go cold and it should decrease their attributes. You feel me? There has to be repercussions to spamming square, to hitting square, because a lot of 2K players aren't smart. Uh-oh, look, look at Young Swan. If you buff Rim Protector, you wouldn't hear the whole community crying about hop steps. The problem isn't hop stepping, it's the defense. Paint defense. If Rim Protector got buffed, I bet people would stop complaining about hop stepping being so overpowered game should be about stick skill facts a lot of people there's actually two more effective ways than hop stepping but everyone keeps talking about hop stepping there's more effective ways than hop stepping than score in the paint like for instance you go in the paint you press l2 right you drive hit l2 you're in position to make it or you're in position to dunk the ball or you're in position to sprint get a speed boost back at the three it's more efficient than hop stepping people don't get that if there was no hop stepping people would just l2 eventually people not hit or you could just go there go under the paint and stop i'm telling you that's more efficient or just going to drive and dunk that's why you see a lot of players they're not hop stepping but hop stepping is broken when it breaks your ankles and all that stuff but the the animation doesn't need to be nerfed niggas don't get that stop breaking animations what needs to be buffed is rim protecting defense when you in good position make a miss it's simple you jump 
all time perfectly miss every time 9.5 out of 10 times miss people would stop complaining they don't have position and that's why it's a big problem bro the whole community is stupid i don't know what's wrong with people let's see what else i gotta say gang needs to go back to the best players guarding ball all builds should have an adequate amount of defensive badges two-way players are cool but this lock thing needs to go IRL best players guard ball just like 2k 15 and 16 yes beautiful 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 the, the league not taking off stop it bro you know stop it stop it stop it look look at real life man look look at um when you just go hoop but usually the best players that are the best on offense most likely are like some of the best defensive players too so you know lebron why you know the, the, there's there's plenty of other examples bro this would really separate people that hide behind people with these broken badges man you know like let, let's put it in, in like in 2k20 aspects people should have 15 to 20 badges on defense or they don't need those badges but they should be able to feel like they have that amount of badges you feel me I don't know i think that would change the game in a way better way instead of people hiding behind these 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 broken builds bro <laughs> bro why haven't i talking to bro 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 what is wrong with me bro why haven't i talked about nick dodger and brick wall i'm spacing out bro <laughs> so make it easier to get defensive badges drop a like if you think uh it needs to be made easier to get defensive badges. It 100% does, bro. <laughs> like, it's it's pretty bad, bro. I, I, don't, I don't know what's up with them. Making this badge progression take so long. Poor Boy Sense says, Pick Dodger and Brick Wall need balancing between each other on head-to-head -head tier. Screens are effective with or without Brick Wall being equipped. And Pick Dodger is useless at Hall of Fame while Brick Wall Hall of Fame thrives at hall of pick dodgers terrible bro but you have to at least have it on silver or you will fall um they should nerf each other out bro if if it's hall of fame hall of fame you should be able to go over eight out of ten screens and then that'll change the game that'll change the game that'll change the game it'll make people really have to have stick skill real iq not just set a screen you big body him cut go for the three like it's corny that that play style takes no skill it takes no skill they're hiding behind someone they take someone out to play then they throw an overpowered alley-oop or throw it down to the big body or they spray a three with all their hall of fame shooting badges it takes no skill it's brain dead it's not like the past two k's what needs to happen pick dodger needs to be buff okay I play on lockdowns. I use lockdowns, right? Even when a guard screens me, it can take me out to play like completely. I will be like running on his body and I like can't move without him even pressing circle. They implemented this player. You can't go through or around players in 18, bro. In 2K18. I don't know what Mike Wayne did, but it, it's also like like say for instance i drive to the paint right and someone jumps they take a bad jump and i pass it to the corner for an open three that the ball would never be hit from someone taking a bad jump until 2k18 i kept telling them take it out take it out whatever you did and people jumping at you bro is one of the worst things jumping at you and intercepting the ball and hitting the ball and knocking the ball out of bounds and not punishing people for taking a bad jump has been one of the worst things to diminish the skill gap ever implemented my boy it has to go it has to go and and brick walls too overpowered yes screens are real screens are real bro but screens need to be as effective as they were in 16 and 15 bro and 14 you feel me screens are so effective and they really take people out of plays 
for the casuals, for the people that don't want a skill gap. That's why they keep increasing them every year, bro. Like, come on, bro. You see like five hard screens a year in the NBA. You see no hard screens in real life, in the park. When you see NBA players go play pickup games, you see no hard screens, okay? So you should only see like one hard screen a game in Pro-Am. <laughs> well, let, let me not speak too much about Pro-Am because that's a whole different game. People be like four locks and stuff. I don't know, bro. I just think the defense, <clears throat> it needs to be toned down. The, the screens need to be toned down because you don't want a bunch of 6'10 lockdown just clamping up little mini PGs game. I don't know, bro. The, the game is out of... The game is completely like out of whack, bro. I don't know, man. I hope they nerf brick wall dramatically. I don't even think it should be in the game. It's the most overpowered badge in 2K history, bro. Since 2K17. It's like, it's really bad, bro. Uncle Demi said, not gonna lie, defense as a whole is bad. I know offense sells more games, appeals more to the casual gamer, but a pure lockdown should be effective against any offensive build, like in 2K19 and this year, it isn't. I would say the pure lockdown is like the second best build in the game, to be honest. But it, at the same time, it's like, it's like the skill of the player, it's like completely, Man, bro, it's bro. They, they they gotta fix this, man. This this shit is nerve wracking, my nigga. It's like when it's the top people versing each other, locks be getting killed, or sometimes they crumble. But when it's bad people, like locks be getting cooked. You know, it's hard to explain. Our locks be like destroying everything. Let's see what Young Swan gotta say. This is coming from someone who ISOs lockdowns every year, shooting a hundred percent. But the constant boost to lockdowns in badge form messes up the game's predictability and skill. It's not about stick skill anymore. Just badges from a 6-7, 99 speed, pure lock with 30 defensive badges. Not a real build. Definitely not a real build, my boy. Pick Dodger is almost useless on my lock. My no steal center gets more steals on ball than my lock. That's facts on Moses. Intimidator is weird and should be removed. Makes 2% layups miss and lets 90% very early accidental jumpers fall. Definitely, definitely true on those. Uh, I don't know, bro. I make like almost all my stuff. Maybe I just know when to release stuff. I don't know. Wish we had a separate option. Defense or rebounder should be separate in my opinion. Facts. Get rid of Intimidator. Make people actually play defense in order to make people miss. I'm sick of missing 2% covered layups on my slasher. Bro, y'all let me know if y'all are missing layups with 2%. I'm not. You know, I don't I don't I don't know, bro. <laughs> Lamasa says pick dodger don't work. Hopefully we can get that fixed in 2K21. I hope so, bro. I mean, we don't went hella years without uh pick dodger working, bro. I don't get it. I don't know how they can't fix it. Pogo stick completely removes any skill at timing contest in the paint. How y'all feel about that? Bro, just fix post hooks, bro. Please fix post hooks and hop steps. The game would be so much better. Facts. Post hooks should like never go in when contested. Nine out of 10 times should miss. Game would be way better. Play way better. Intimidator gotta go. Otherwise it's cool. Bro, I don't think people understand what would happen if intimidator left like people would make more contested shots i don't i don't i don't get it bro pickpocket is non-existent no matter what tier could use a very small buff lightning reflexes isn't as strong as its description heart crusher could possibly see a buff to make the badge more prominent these, these are facts um definite facts but people get steals like well, even without pickpocket it's it's kind of crazy bro fix passing the ball trajectory the ball trajectory <laughs> the ball trajectory is terrible facts passes do be dumb slow too 
people with a low steel rating shouldn't have a higher success rate than a 99 steel with Hall of Fame pickpocket. Facts. <laughs> Let's see what Young Swan says. Brick wall shouldn't exist. It's a bailout for players on offense to exploit the game in its easiest form. Screens are fine, but players shouldn't be getting stunned 10 times a possession in the park or stage. Doesn't happen IRL. Nobody abuses brick wall screens IRL. Facts. You got a buff pick dodger. Facts. Never have Intimidator in a game again. Ridiculous how many open and low covered layups I miss. Bro, I don't I don't miss layups. I don't know what's up with y'all. And I see this all the time. People really hate Intimidator, bro. The only time I see Intimidator really work is when someone's like on a 30 badge lock. And I know y'all aren't versing that, bro. My question is how much of a difference do badges make unequipped compared to just player actual ratings everything pogo stick definitely needs to go yeah i keep seeing a lot of people say that bro what needs one two one two what needs fixed is paint defense no way should a 180 pound guard be able to slide me out the way on a reverse layup when I meet them outside of the restricted arc holding L2 and flicking my right stick up. Facts. 7-3 center, center also shouldn't be able to make 90% of their standing layups just because. Remove pogo stick. Intimidator is dumb. The paint defense with the post hooks is insane. You get no contest with Hall of Fame badges. See? Like, th this is what I'm talking about. Y'all do know if you take out Intimidator, it's going to go in even more, right? Like, I don't I don't understand y'all's logic for that. People still shoot in your face or dunk on you when you have Hall of Fame badges. Facts. Badge levels should be attached to rating. Facts. Hey, you got to do something about dodging games in the neighborhood, man. Taking so much time to get a game. This is why I hate 2k, bro. I honestly I don't understand How y'all play the game. I don't understand how people hit legend all this other stuff You I, I, I honestly believe y'all are psychopaths. I would never Sit there hunting games down and have everyone run for me to where I'm getting like Two games in an hour I can't do it. I get off. That's why my rep's so low, bro. I get offline. Because everybody be scared to play me, man. Like, real scared because they know they're going to get thrashed. Like, bad. It's sad, bro. Boy says, you got to do something about dodging game. Takes too much time. It's, it's shit crazy. Let's see what Young Swan says. Pick Dodger does not work. It needs a huge buff. If you want to make defense OP, make that OP. Pogo stick shouldn't exist either. Should depend on build. Oh, God. Intimidator is too OP. How? Pick Dodger needs a buff. And I get more steals without pickpocket than with it on Hall of Fame. Brick wall should depend on your physical pie chart. It shouldn't be a defensive badge. Facts. Hopefully, man, a lot of this information in this thread, bro, it's a lot of good information. Hopefully, he actually does something with it, man. And he can adjust things as the game goes on. It, it just seems like when they put out the game, they can't really change shit, bro. I don't know. Pick Dodger is inconsistent, not effective enough. Pogo Stick is unrealistic and allows for way too much error. On initial paint jumps intimidator is inconsistent regardless the defensive system needs to be more user based and animations are mg or rng should be a hundred percent user determined facts i think some badges need to be buffed and some others need a defensive badge to counter hall of fame slithery finisher it's literally unstoppable facts Split them. There are people who are good at rebounding and suck at defense like Cousins and Cancer. 
facts. They definitely should be split. How do y'all feel about that? Post-hook defense is bad. I feel as if Intimidator isn't as effective. Okay, we got another woke guy trying to split rebounding and defense. I hope they do that, bro. Because the most broken build in the game has a 99 rebounding and, and all the, the, the greatest defensive stats, too. It's trash. Reverses aren't that OP this year unless someone has tendencies, bro. So... Reverse layups always used to go in. Now they almost always miss, to be honest. I don't know what y'all be talking about. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Interceptor OP. Shit looks like a football game half the time with straight interceptions. <laughs> what is this nigga talking about, bruh? This nigga's crazy. I think I just found an exploit to make contested layups, bro, to be honest. Because I still see a lot of y'all be struggling with it, bro. Look at what this nigga says. I hope y'all get rid of seeing if someone greened a shot. Ruin the excitement somewhat. Really? Actually. Man, I don't know how I feel about that. I remember I was excited at first. But, like, for instance, since 2K20, bro, I don't scream, uh, like, white anymore. Because, like, I would scream white to, like, to tell my team I'm, it might not go in. You feel me? That's why I started doing that. But now that everyone can see it, like, there's no point man all these people are saying nerf pick dodger bro trapper is useless just remove vacuum screens if you don't hit the screen it shouldn't affect you anywho that's the end of the video man i'm gonna link this poll y'all can go let them know how y'all feel and i'm gonna link my other videos on where i covered the other polls and stuff but y'all let me know how y'all feel about defense or rebound and how it needs to be in 2K21. I just hope, bro, to be honest, what's the most important thing is that they create a game that they can adjust throughout the year and they just don't leave it. Like, come on, man, we paying all this money. Like, fix the game, bro. Why can't y'all buff pick Dodger to the point to where screens aren't even effective? I just want the possibility, bro. Like, test it out man test it out test it out like they should be able to adjust the game to that degree you feel me i don't know maybe that's just me but make sure y'all subscribe if you new. like up the video sub to my second channel my new channel it's gonna have all my toxic rage stuff follow me on um twitter follow me on twitch Follow me on everything else, everything in the description. And um, yeah, I'm out.